the long-term vision can only be one. And that is 100% safe, 100% fossil free, and 100% more productive to be the leader. So let's get started now talking about the journey towards fossil free and look at the roadmap ahead here. Here you see the roadmap of how we look upon the world when it comes to what we call the tailpipe emissions. What is emitted from the different vehicles or equipment. And if we start here uh, by 2050, what we say is that in order to achieve and to lead Paris, we need to have a running fleet or a rolling population that is 100% fossil free at the latest globally by 2050. But that means also in reality for us that we need to ship 100% of our products and services as fossil free already from 2040. And why is it so? Yeah, because our products are running in different type of production systems and they are lasting for at least 10 years. So, th so that is the logic behind that. And then of course, as you see, it will be a gradual shift into electric here. And when we are talking about electric, that is, of course, both battery and fuel cell electric. And then, of course, also on the combustion engine side, even if that will decrease. Also here we see how we are moving into fossil free when it comes to renewable fuels of biogas or even hydrogen. Often I get the question, what will happen if you do it? And that is not happening on the grid or in the energy generation or in the infrastructure. Yes, we are lot working with all its partners, but we will not use that as an excuse. We will deliver our part and we are confirmed by doing so that others will do the same. So, so this is really the roadmap that we believe in. Next step is to start the rolling out. And I can share with you some very exciting news here. Here you see what we call the fast paced introduction on the truck and bus side. A massive rollout uh, that has started. Here, for example, you see on the city bus side, a uh, hybrid experience 10 plus years ago, building into battery electric. We are in serious production when it comes to the medium duty. Uh, and that is serving important segments like distribution and waste and recycling. Now, in the coming years, and also urban construction. Uh, we did see, for example, the Norwegian Prime Minister inaugurating one of the urban construction vehicles uh, the other week here. Uh, and now, in the coming year and years, we are continuing to roll out that for all relevant segments, step by step. Uh, container haulage, heavy construction, regional haul, and then eventually also uh, the, the really heavy duty long haul that will be a combination of battery and fuel cell electric vehicles. And on the bottom, we are also reinforcing our capabilities and our offerings when it comes to energy services. So again, clear targets clear roadmaps and a clear rollout plan 